I was called to a teacher's office and beaten thoroughly using a buns and burner pipe due to sleeping in class. I was driven out of class and uh, told to lie on a pavement where I was given six strokes using a buns and burner pipe. He asked me why I was sleeping. I tried to tell him that I was sick even I showed him the medicine but he didn't hear. He told me to come to his office. I was not able to sit down for a week because of the beating that the deputy gave me. There was this one time that I was punished severely. I was beaten like 20 strokes using a buns and burner can. This one time I had not worn my socks, uh, which is part of the school uniform. Uh, the deputy caught me and took me to the office. I tried to resist, but the more I resisted, the more he got motivated. And by the time I was moving out of his office, I had blood coming out of my mouth and my nose. There was a kid who had failed a uh, question in biology. So the kid was punished and uh, in the line of punishment, his head was hit and he fell into a coma. Because of the way that I was punished, I could not concentrate in my class studies. Um, my morale was very down and I could not even talk and interact with the other people. I dropped biology because of the corporal punishment I was given by the biology teacher. Corporal punishment uh, when faced by a child will lower his self-esteem, maybe disfigure his physical appearance and lower his rate of concentration. I'd like to tell the government that it's time for us to stood by what we have agreed on. If we agreed that corporal punishment should be abolished, that should be the case. Corporal punishment is savage, barbaric, and inhumane, and it should be stopped. No student deserves to be punished in a violent way. No student deserves to be punished in a violent way. No student deserves to be punished in a violent way. No student deserves to be punished in a violent way. No